guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is all about the difference between powder and cream contouring i know you guys keep asking me what products you should buy for contouring and this was a highly requested video so i thought why not take out time and do this so as you guys dig into the video you will see that i have contoured this side of my face just using cream products and then i have just contoured this side of my face using powder products so enjoy this video also don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new here leave me a sweet comment down below spread this video as much as you can i always say that and 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 press that bell button along with the subscribe button so that you get a notification every time i post something new on my channel Okay guys, so first step I'm priming my face using Maria Brigisco Rose Water Spray. This is a really, really good primer if you want a fresh and hydrated look. And then I'm gonna use this NYX concealer palette and just go over and cover all my dark spots or wherever I feel the need with a flat brush and then we'll blend it out using a beauty blender. And not exactly a beauty blender, I sort of sourced this sponge from Forever 21. This is so comfortable. You put it on your finger and you can work your way around it and I really liked it so I will recommend you guys to buy it so for foundation today we are using the nyx signed beige and i'm just gonna dot it all over my face and start blending it out again this doesn't really have a very very a thick coverage it is a light to medium coverage foundation so i'm just evenly blending it out all over my face and i'm gonna make sure that i drag it down to my neck for highlighting my face i'm using the abh banana stick this is one of my favorite things to highlight and i'm just gonna go ahead and highlight the inner portion of my face i always say this you want to make your face look slimmer so the more you stick the highlight part to the center of your face the more the outer portion goes darker on its own it's basically reverse contouring as well so yeah and i'm blending it out again using the same finger blender that's what i'm calling it so for contouring today i'm using the abh mink stick and this is not a red undertoned contour color and i hate using that because it makes your face too brown is what i feel uh, this on the other hand creates like a natural shadow it will feel actually that this is making your face slimmer so i highly recommend using a cool toned color for contouring and also notice that how i'm using a different beauty blender to blend out my cream contour because you don't want the contour color to go lighter if you use the color that had banana on it it will really fade the color down so yeah make sure that you have two different sponges when you're doing this also if you're a beginner i would recommend you doing powder contouring on your face rather than cream contour because it is better to work your way up gradually and powder contour gives you that you know create a hold on your hand to control how much product you're using um, cream contour on the other hand is difficult to blend so for powder contouring i'm using the nyx highlight and contour duo it's really really nice i love this palette it's not even that heavy on your budget and i'm setting my face with the same palette and mixing it with the shambhaw geneva rr3 it's my go-to For my blush today, I'm using this NYX Ombre Blush. It is such a pretty peachy color. I am in absolute love with this color. Also for that shimmery poppy glow, I'm using the ABH Nicole Guerrero palette and just bringing it down the bridge of my nose. On the lips menu today, we have the NYX The Pinks palette. I am not really in the mood to go all bold on my lips since we have a lot of action going on on the eyes already. And I wanted to focus on making the video about the contouring obviously so softer lips today
it for today's video guys i hope you guys had a ball and enjoyed this video as much as i love creating videos for you guys until next time with a brand new tutorial love always big